James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 11th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been hit by a couple of hours of plasma that broke through the space weather threshold. You can see the plasma started right around 1430 UTC time. At its highest point, it was at 55.12 centimeters cubed. Now, it did not last very long, as you can see, and the whole situation was over after about an hour and a half of plasma. I am guessing that this is the CME that was expected late yesterday evening into today, and they had the timing off. Now, they are expecting another coronal mass ejection, or more than one, supposedly. We'll take a look at that information right now. We have a NOAA warning issued for the 13th. That's where we had a halo eruption, Earth-facing, that we suspect is inbound to impact Earth on the 13th. Now, NOAA has also come out and said that we should be looking for possible geomagnetic storms on the 11th today, which we just did see one, and on the 12th, as well as the 13th, when they expect the larger CME, coronal mass ejection, to impact Earth. Now, we would think with 54 centimeters cubed of plasma hitting Earth, we would have seen a geomagnetic storm. But we saw no geomagnetic storm, even though a G2 was predicted for late yesterday into today. Again, they're predicting a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm for the 13th, although they have mentioned the 11th and 12th as well. They have a coronal mass ejection, an eruption of solar material and magnetic fields. When they arrive at Earth, a geomagnetic storm can result. Watches of this level are not uncommon. A CME is anticipated to affect Earth and lead to increased geomagnetic activity on September 13th. They're looking for a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm. Again, moderate geomagnetic storm levels are likely on the 13th of September due to a coronal mass ejection and its influences from an eruption that occurred early on the 10th of September. Stay in the loop at www.spaceweatherpredictioncenter.noaa.gov for the evolving forecast and analysis of this event. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.